Hey everybody, this is Pastor Michael at Ascension Lutheran Church in Torrance, California. It's time for another midweek boost. I want to talk to you today about John chapter 3 and John chapter 4. Here, Jesus encounters two people. In chapter 3, he encounters a man named Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a leader and a teacher in Israel. And this is where Jesus says this very famous verse, John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Then he goes on to say to Nicodemus, God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Now in chapter 4, Jesus goes on to bear this out. He has a discussion with a woman from Samaria. He asks her for a drink at a well. And the woman replies, Why are you a Jew even speaking to a woman of Samaria? Jesus says to her, Listen, if you knew who it was that asked you for a drink, you would ask him for a drink, and he would give you water that lasts forever. She says, give me some of this water. And Jesus says, go get your husband and come back. She says, I I don't have a husband. Jesus says, you're right that you don't have a husband You've had five husbands, and the one that you are with now is not your husband. Now, a lot of people take this as Jesus condemning this woman for her being a loose woman. Uh, That is most certainly not the case. Jesus has already told us he didn't come to the world into the world to condemn the world. If you knew something about uh, the culture in first century Judaism and in first century Samaria, women were treated as property. Women were not capable of divorcing their husbands. Men were capable of divorcing their wives at the drop of a hat. This woman was not a loose woman. She was a a forgotten woman. She was a rejected woman. This must have caused her great pain that she had gone through these broken relationships. And even now, the person that she's with is not marrying her. Jesus isn't condemning her. He's empathizing with her. He understands what she's gone through. This is why she doesn't just get up and leave because of an insult. She doesn't think for a moment that she's been insulted. Rather, she goes back and tells the people in her town that she believes that she's met the Messiah because she says, he knew everything that I've ever done. Jesus knew this woman just like he knows you. He knows our innermost hurts and pains, and he loves us. He came to save us from these hurts. He doesn't come to condemn us. We cannot think of God in these condemning, ugly ways that we often do. He's not here to condemn us for our sin. He came to take our sin upon himself. That's the message of the cross. And as we read these stories, we need to understand the character and nature of God. God is love, and he loves us in the midst of our sin. And yes, sin is sin. But God came to save us from it, not to condemn us for it. And so we see how in chapter 4, what he said about himself in chapter 3 is true. He really does love us. And he came not to condemn us, but to save us. Have a great day.